All right, what's on the bench today? Um, a company reached out to me, um, Verbal Microwave. Uh, the, this is a German W, so it's, it's pronounced Verbal uh, Microwave. And they said, hey, do you want some stuff? And I said, of course I want some stuff. <laughs> Uh, so they gave me a couple items here. Um, one is a coupler and one is a power divider. Uh, this one, uh, they're both. Both devices are good from 2 gigahertz to 18 gigahertz, and so these are expensive things. I looked up their pricing. This one is $465 for the uh, coupler and $260 for the, uh, for the divider. So, you know, over $700 in free gifts. Very nice. Uh, so... Uh, the company looks like it has quite a few things. They have uh, different types of couplers and hybrids and things like that. They look like they're, uh, they do custom and stuff. Here's this custom requirements welcome. Looks like things are built here in the U.S. Uh, they, they do uh, uh, rack enclosures so they can put together systems for you and things like that. So uh, what are they showing off here? Lab PC they have a pick and place robot and a, a PC board manufacturing thing. So yeah, they can, uh, they can do your work for you. Uh, let's take a look at these devices that they sent. I printed out the data sheets. This is a simple two way, uh, power divider, um, two to 18, this one's two to 18 gigahertz. Yeah. They, like I said, these are both two to 18 gigahertz, uh, up to 30 Watts for this guy. Um, let's see here, 50 ohms, isolation, 18 dB of isolation. We could test that. Um, let's see here. Then we have a coupler. It's a 10 dB coupler, which means that it snakes off, uh, 10%, uh, 10 dB of the, uh, of the signal. And, um, this one's good for 20 Watts. And what is its directivity? 17. It's fairly low. Uh, return loss, return loss. Okay. Let's take a look at their uh, uh, directivity. That's what I... Yeah, direct 17. Huh. The directivity plots they're showing here are... Uh, oh, I see. You, 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 look, you read the bottom of it. They're upside down. Uh, so yeah, so we are the worst case we're down here for directivity, but a lot of times it's much better than that. It depends on what frequency you're at and everything. So it's a bit lumpy. Uh, here's the 10 dB coupling and here is the, uh, loss in the uh, transmission line. Um, it's, uh, oh, about a quarter of a dB, something like that. So yeah, looks pretty good. So. Uh, normally, I would just say thank you and not be able to use these guys, but I have da, 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 I have my uh, Keysight uh, FieldFox, which is good to 26 gigahertz. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can't test these things. All right, so I put some cables on, and uh, so we will calibrate this thing for, uh, let's see, we'll go into the uh, analyzer mode. We'll be measuring S11, I mean S12 and S21, these two. One goes this away, one goes that away, it automatically switches inside the instrument. But we'll need to do a through calibration. So let's go ahead and get a, uh, an adapter. I have a uh, 3.5 millimeter adapter here. And let's put that in line here. So we're gonna do a through calibration, just like your little tiny SA. We're going to do a three calibration. You can see that we're a little bit off right now. Uh, so we will do cal, response cal, normalization, measure. Uh, oh, let me set the number of steps. So we have a lot of steps here. Let me go back, make sure where steps are good. Let's see, measure setup. Where is it? Trace. Yeah. Uh, sweep. Yeah. Resolution 201. Yeah. Let's do 801. 801 steps across. Let's go back and recal it uh, for that. All right, so now we have a nice flat cal. 
Let's go ahead and measure the uh, coupler. It's much more interesting. Uh, so it comes in a little package. Got the little uh, reindeer noses on it. All right. And there we go. Cute little guy. All right, so let's uh, disconnect our through. And let's measure the uh, that 10 dB spec. We should be getting 10 dB right here. And we will terminate the unused port with a 50 ohm load. Oops. With a 50 ohm load, there we go. All right, so I think you can see here, we're right at 10 dB, we can scale that. Yeah, very nice. Uh, and looks like it goes much, much better than their 18 gigahertz spec. So let's put some markers on. We'll do one that says the low marker is at eight, eight, uh, two gigahertz, I'm sorry. Two gigahertz is where it's lowest is supposed to be. And we'll do 18, oops, back. 18 gigahertz for the high end. So this is their spec range, but it looks like it's working really well up here, up in the 26 gigahertz. So that's, that's nice overkill. Okay, let's do a through, since we can. And now we'll do the, we'll do a through. And here you go, you can see there's a little bit of loss in the system here as you go through. Uh, we will do a scale. So about a 1 dB loss, that's pretty, pretty reasonable. Uh, let's go back to 10 dB, okay. And then let's do a, uh, let's see here, how do I measure that? I want to go in this way. And let's see here, yeah. Uh, Okay, we'll do it this way. We'll do it this way. We'll do the directivity measurement. See if we get that 17, or if it's a lot. If it's a lot better than that. Oops. If it's better than that. And we will come here. Oh yeah, it's much better. So uh, let's see here, let's do scale. Let's move this up here and let's do scale of five dB. Yeah, my worst case is up here at 26, uh, 26 gigahertz. So here's the marker for 18, here's a marker for two. So yeah, it's, it's better than 25 dB directivity. So yeah, it's much, much better than their uh, then they're absolute guaranteed. So this one's operating really, really well. So that's, uh, when you go through a coupler, it's like a one-way valve. And if you go in one way, it takes off 10 dB of the signal. If you go through the other way, ideally you see nothing at all. And here we have a 25, a 25 dB return loss or, or 25 dB isolation, I guess you'd call it. Um, you don't, uh, don't pick anything up. So it looks like a very, oops, sorry, looks like a very nice coupler. All right, let's uh, get out the, the other device, which is a divider, pretty simple device. Let's see here. This is the uh, this is the divider. So we want to go in one end like this, and we want to then go the other side. So we'll put this over here, 
and we will get half of the power on one side and half of the power on the other side. So you get about 3 dB on one side, 3 dB on the other side. We will put a uh, 50 ohm load on the unused port. And where's my wrench? Let's make sure these are all tight. All right, and let's make this one here. Oops, on the wrong way. That's dumb. Righty tidy. All right, there we go. So let's take a look down here. Very nice. Let's change the scale here. One dB. So here's our three. And yes, between 2 and 18 is working really well. It doesn't work well above 18, but that's not where it's designed to go. So yeah, it's working really well. Here. It's about 3.2, about 3.2 on the on the each side. Now let's measure the isolation. That's a good thing to measure for your um, devices. That is the crosstalk between these two sides here. So we will put the load over on over on this end. There we go. And we will put the input output over here. Let's make sure this is all working good. On. That one's okay. There we go. And let's do a scale of 10 dB again. All right. So can you see that? Uh, again, between markers one and two is where it's specified. And we're getting about, uh, worst case, that looks like about 18. Uh, I think the spec was 17, if I remember right. Wasn't Oh, no. That was the, that's the other device. This. Isolation, they spec at 18 dB. 18, yeah, that's probably 18. Let's uh, change the scale here to go in a little farther. 15, 17 and a half. I measure 17 and a half, but I don't have the best equipment and everything, so I'll believe they're 18. Most of, most of the time it's around 20, so yeah. And 18, oh, 18 was typical on their data sheet. 18, the guarantee 16. And 18 is typical, so yeah, there you go. Definitely a typical device. All right, well, there we go. Thanks out again to uh, Verbal Microwave for uh, sending me a couple freebies here. Very, very nice. They will be handy. Um, a nice little coupler, nice little uh, divider, and uh, I like the size. I like, uh, I like things that are small, so yeah. That'll be great. Great addition.